we're going to take a look at a little bit more in terms of problem solving with rational functions. So let's just take a look at a problem and see how we could build a model for this scenario and how a rational function might be useful. So with changes in the current economy, it is more important than ever for companies to monitor their spendings, their spending and earnings simultaneously. Uh, suppose we have a company that manufactures chairs. Um, for each chair, they make a revenue of $99 for this uh, new, new line. Um, revenue basically means that that's just what they get paid when a customer purchases one. If no chairs are sold, then their first then their net revenue averages twenty nine thousand five hundred each month. Um, okay, so then we also know that they have costs. Well, each chair costs them sixty four dollars to manufacture to pay workers, uh, machinery, etc. And without selling any chairs, the company has a monthly cost of twenty four thousand eight hundred to pay for overhead. Um, so that might be to, to pay for lighting, pay for uh, pay other employees, all that kind of stuff. And we want to write a function that gives the ratio of dollars earned to dollars spent. What is the effect of selling more and more chairs on this ratio? Okay, so we so in other words, let me clarify this a little bit. Um, we want to find a function that gives the ratio of dollars earned to dollars spent as a function of chairs sold. Okay, so we basically want to look at the ratio of dollars spent, um, excuse me, dollars earned to dollars spent. So dollars earned to dollars spent as a function of the number of chairs sold. Okay, well we need to figure out, well how do we generate, how do we determine dollars earned and how do we determine a function for dollars spent? Okay, well let's call n the number of chairs or you can call it x if you want. Um, so we know that a company manufacturing chairs makes a revenue of $99 for a new line of chairs. So that means uh, that for every chair, if I sell one, I get $99. If I sell uh, two, and I'm going to call this this the uh, revenue function, if I sell zero, I don't get any money. If I sell, oh excuse me, no, um, let's take that back. If I sell zero chairs, then I will still have a monthly revenue of 29,500. Um, now if I sell 10 chairs, well I'm still going to make that re average revenue of 29,500, but I'm going to be able to add to that uh, $99 10 times, because I made $99 for each chair. So what does that translate to? How did we calculate that? Well revenue is your base revenue, what you make each month from other items, plus $99 times the number of chairs you sell. Okay, perfect, so there's our revenue function. So we can determine how much would you make if you sold 1,000 chairs. Similarly over here, well, we're told that without selling any chairs, the company has a monthly cost of 24,800. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark cost as being um, a positive number, but normally cost is associated with negative numbers, however, if I sell zero chairs, I'll have a cost of $24,800. If I sell 10 chairs, well, very similarly, this will be $24,800 in cost, plus I'll have an additional cost of $64 times the number of chairs I sold. And guess what? Now we have our function. So, so sorry, this would be times 10. So 24,800 plus uh, 64 times 10 and we could figure out exactly what that would be, but what did we do to calculate cost? We took the base cost and we added to that the $64 times the number of chairs. So now a function that gives us the ratio of dollars earned to dollars spent, and I don't know, let's call that R for ratio, is equal to, well I want dollars earned to dollars spent, so that would mean I have to take my dollars earned which is this function right here that we calculated. Oop, I probably shouldn't call this R. Maybe I'll call this lowercase r so I don't confuse the capital. So that's going to be my revenue divided by my cost function. So the ratio, well, well my revenue function is 29,500 plus 99 times n divided by the cost function, which is 24,800 plus 64 times n. So now I can look at what my revenue is divided by what my cost is and that just gives me a relative measure of the two.